Hi folks, welcome to my Vid Retro Journal. Um, this is the PowerBook uh, 180 that I got uh, recently, and I, I, sh I had a video on it. And uh, if you recall, if you saw that video, you saw that it started getting dark on the edges. And it turns out if you leave it on long enough, it starts sort of encroaching and you get that tunnel vision effect, which is actually a very common um, issue with the Active Matrix uh, monochrome displays, PowerBook 180, PowerBook 170. Um, not so much with the color, but with the monochrome one. And uh, I've read a lot online about the issue. Some people think that it's a moisture issue. People actually take these apart and, and put these in ovens and bake them at 170 or 80 degree Fahrenheit to uh, take out the moisture. Um, there's all, There was also a video uh, online about uh, one person that just said, we had, he said two things, he, to, to, to sort of tighten the bezel uh, which is uses metal clips, and also that he he could reprogram some of the chips, which seemed odd. But the bezel tightening is kind of what I want to do today. Um, my conjecture is not that it's moisture, but that the, um, the you know the LCD is made up of layers, and that the glue that holds it together potentially because of thirty some years is coming apart. And um, and what the heating in the oven does is isn't that it's taking away moisture, but it's actually just reflowing the glue, uh, causing it to uh, adhere better. And you can kind of see in some of the pictures, if you look online, what happens is, is that it gets a little blotchy at times. Uh, so maybe that's what's going on. Again, I'm not going to bake this at this point. Um, it, it, it's pretty slow moving to begin with. You know, after 90 minutes, it's, it's not so bad. Um, after three hours, it gets kind of bad. But uh, what I want to do is I'm going to take the screen apart and I'm going to then um, uh, take the, the bezel off, uh, place it straight down. And I'm going to use a hammer to actually, um, so it, it has about 30 little tabs that you kind of push in. But I kind of want to push it down and, and have the tabs uh, instead of, so the tabs are on the, on the piece of metal and they push in to hold it down. I, I actually want to also knock them down in this direction so that they apply pressure because it has these electromeric strips that attach the LCD to the circuit board. And I'm thinking if I can cause pressure, that might actually seal it so that it doesn't happen. So that's what I'm going to try. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it apart. I'm going to try to uh, use tap. That's why I'm using a very small hammer to tap with. I don't want a very heavy hammer. I'm just going to use pressure and tap. And if I tap all, there's probably 30 of them, maybe that's enough pressure. I'll put it back together and then I'll run it for a few hours to see if it is better or not. It's actually a nice warm day today and it, it tends to do it quicker in warmer days. So I've already taken out, it, this is actually, um, I've already taken it apart at one point and I actually tightened things, but didn't quite do the trick. Uh, and that got me to thinking about uh, torquing them towards the circuit board. But it has these little um, covers for the screw holes. And I really like the way they do that. These are just little plastic or rubbery things that get over that. I don't actually have the right uh, 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 tool, but a screwdriver will actually do it as well. So it's got uh, hex these hex uh, wrenches, I guess, or, or screws, I guess. It's not Torx. I forget what it's called. I'll put it in the comments if I can find it. So yeah, I just want to take out the, uh, there we go. And same here. And uh, these actually come up, well, the first time I took it apart, it actually came up really easily. We'll see if it's gonna have the same impact the second time I take it apart. But I, I you know, I recently had fixed my uh, Dell laptop because it had, it needed a new video cable. And then I so much plastic broke when I was trying to, I don't know why it's not coming out. So much of the plastic broke as I was taking it out. The, the, the Dells are just not put together very well. Here you go. I think this will do it. Come on. Come on. It's ready to come out. It's just, there you go. That's it. Oh, don't fall in there. Okay. So then uh, what I need is a plastic spudger. And I'm actually going to use... And uh, this does come open here. But what you want is there's a... Uh, 
Oops. So what you want to do is there's a, uh, oh, it's, it's this direction as well. There we go. I want no. wheel. I don't want to break anything. It's I think it goes. In. There he goes. And there's a there's a tab right here. And then once you get this tab, this whole thing comes apart. And I didn't break it. Look at that. So this is actually really well put together. So once you get this tab off here by pushing this in and uh, did not break it, uh, this is in really good shape. Move this off to the side. And then I have a couple more uh, of these uh, screws. And what I have to do, unfortunately, not having the right, uh, is I'm gonna use this screwdriver and a pair of pliers. So I'll just apply pressure towards, and then, yeah, look at that, and that actually works. And then that'll come apart, and the same goes here. I wanna be careful that I don't break that. And uh, I think that did it, yeah. All right, yep, yeah, so this is coming apart. Um, what I wanna do, Oh, do I actually want to take it apart? I actually don't want to take it apart. I'm not taking the whole thing off. Yeah, it's the wrong screws I took out. I actually want to, <laughs> it's these screws I want to take out. Because I want to take this part off. There's four of them in there. Uh, let's see if I'm able to do that with this. Uh, yeah. I think that worked. That's one. I'm gonna do the bottom ones first. All right, and there it is, taken off. All right, let me resituate the camera and uh, I'm gonna start working on tapping these things down to see if I can do a better job. Here we go. So here's the screen, um, and if you look in the bottom, you can see that, or the top, it has a metal bezel, and basically uh, it has all these tabs, and what you generally do if you wanna open it up is you twist these tabs to align them with the slots, take out the screen. There are electromeric strips here, here, and I assume here, I'm not 100% sure, but I, I hope there are actually on all four sides, because otherwise my plan's not gonna work. But so generally the fix has been just to twist these in a little further um, to see if, to, to tighten it. What I actually tried to do with a pair of pliers, which I don't have at the moment, is not only did I twist them this way, but I also tried to hold on to them this way and twist into the board. 
Uh, but that was really hard to do. So what I want to do today is I have uh, one of these things on my ankles is I'm going to apply firm pressure with my hand down like that. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to tap it. And there's all these ones. And all I want to do is just tap. And the idea is that this, these will push these, and I didn't tap them very hard because I don't want them to flip over, but that tapping in uh, hopefully will create a tighter seal and push these electromeric strips um, uh, into them. So, um, and the hope is that that will create a tighter bond between, uh, and, and sort of if, if the glue is failing, it um, does, um, you know, holds the, the, the layers together. So, um, is this, is this still in, in picture here? You know, let me do this one more time. So again, kind of want to push it down. And the idea is. All right, gave them a nice uh, tap, firm but not too hard, and the hope now is that when I put it together, I'm gonna leave it, uh, leave it on and uh, uh, see how it goes. So let me rearrange the camera and, and let's reassemble this. That's really all I'm gonna do today, it's just that. Right back to where we are, so I'm gonna put the screen back on here. So the screen is gonna go on uh, like this. And uh, then I'll worry about connecting. Uh, there we go. And what I want to do first is just uh, screw in these top screws. I think that is going to make it a little easier to mess with. There we go. Yeah. Um, screw up here. And what I want to do is grab one of them. And uh, be a little tricky, but let's see if I can't. Uh, Here we go. If I can get this one in there. Yeah. Here we go. And then I need to have the one up here. And fall down that's already a little bit secured so I just have to get this in here bring this up a little bit and boom yeah and these are metal screws oh. it just has to line up Once you line it up, and I want to get this back in here. This pushes down, and this just pushes in, and then it's a pressure fit. Does it? This part is really nicely done.
And then this also is really nicely done. Uh, goes in like that. And there's actually space right here for it to sit, which I really like. It's like they really thought this out well. Literally has grooves for it to lie in and then grooves for it to sit in here. So, you know, compared to what they do with modern machines, this is just, uh, let's make sure this is, doesn't get jammed in there. So I'm gonna poke these out for now. Get the other two screws in. And there's one more. And that goes in here. That's in, that's in, that's in, that's in. I'm not going to tighten it too tight. Uh, now these can kind of be guided. Yeah, there's room here. They don't get pinched. And like I said, really nicely designed uh, compared to modern laptops. This is a dream. Uh, and so this would be ready to put the cover back on. I actually want to clean the screen uh, a little bit before I do that. But before I do any of that, um, let's actually um, resituate ourselves and plug it in and then see how this does over time. All right. So let me come back to that. You know, I'll come back and the screen will already be on. This is with the screen having been on for about uh, three or four minutes. Um, and nothing here yet, so it's all looking really good. But of course, this usually takes a while to start. Of course, I didn't break anything, so that's good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back um, in about an hour to see what the progress is. Uh, the, the conjecture is that if the pressing helped, then this screen will... Um, not start forming uh, the tunnel vision darkening on the edges all right so i want to leave the camera set up as is um and uh, come back here when uh in about yeah in about an hour from now all right here we go all right it's been about an hour and as you can see the um uh the tunnel vision has has started um, it, it was good for about the first 20 minutes and then it sort of started creeping in. Um, it's hard to say, um, you know, if it's improved or not, but a little disappointed. Um, I thought maybe I'd have an opportunity to fix it, uh, using uh, this technique, but it seems like, um, yeah, it, you know, I, I haven't done enough timing to figure out if it's slowing it down or not, but certainly after an hour, it's, it looks, it looks pretty bad. Um, I still very usable, but you know, especially on the bottom part, you can see. So, um, yeah, uh, I guess I will, uh, uh, end here. I don't, uh, I may try to bake it to see if that can help, but, uh, for now, um, you know, what I have doesn't work. All right. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.